Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's 7.30. Andrew's already up and about. I I just uh, woke up about 7 and got dressed. And I've come down for my breakfast. So I've got a coffee made with skim milk. And I've got the other half of my breakfast hash. Uh, so again, it's fried tinned potatoes, tomatoes, cucumber, sorry, tomatoes, courgette, pepper and onion with one Linda McCartney vegetarian sausage for half a sin and half a tin of beans. And yes, I am going to eat it from this tray because I can't be bothered to uh, get another plate out. But yeah, that's my breakfast, something different for a holiday. Right, good morning. It is quarter to nine. I am, oh, it's heavy. All packed up with a picnic for myself. Andrew's got a few snacks and hopefully we'll be able to get a, a sandwich or a snack from somewhere along the way. We've got Charlie's food, got my walking boots on um, and we are off to Castle Howard. It's dry, it's not raining or anything but it does look like it might have been raining overnight so it could be wet underfoot. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we get on and obviously I'll show you as much as I can. We are in the courtyard at Castle Howard. It's about 10 o'clock. Um, would you say the house wasn't actually open? Um, the, the, no, the, only the grounds are open. The grounds, so the, the house isn't actually open for visitors until the 30th of March. But we, I don't think we can go in anyway with, that, with Charlie. Uh, we've just popped to the toilet and we're eyeing up the um, cafe and co coffee shop for later which I'll show you in a minute so there will be a shot of some cakes in a minute um, there's a farm shop there so I'm not sure if we can go in or not but we might explore later looks a nice place here's the cakes at the coffee shop. Andrew's eyeing all those up. Do you fancy caramel slice? Mm -hmm. And I've got ice cream and fudge and coffees. And then out here is all the the car park, which is free, which is a good sign. So now we'll uh, we'll try and find our way around this uh, five mile walk. And there's a garden centre which we might see if we can go around later. Uh, don't know how much we'll be able to do with Charlie with us, but we'll see. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad, is it? It's not raining, but. No, it's nice walking weather. Once you get going, it'll warm you up. Yeah, I think it's going to be a bit wet underfoot, so we might have trouble with that, but we'll let you know as we go. We've been walking through the woods for a few minutes, down to these bodies of water. Does it say something about crossroads? Yeah, when we get to crossroads, um, turn right. And it says we've got to try and not get run over. Yeah. Oh, that'll be end up walk. <laughs> Somebody's enjoying himself. Is it the duckies? So what's your, your what's your thoughts on the situation? Um Keep, it's, it's going all right at the moment, yeah. I keep we, thinking about what? I keep thinking about that, that caramel shortbread thing. Well, I think that that coach load of pensioners will have eaten it uh, all. You better not have done. There was, there was a big coach load of people, of visitors arriving. Yeah, you know how greedy they? pensioners are. They think it's the last meal, don't they? <laughs> I don't know if they were pensioners, by the way. It could have been a school trip. Yeah, I think all that will be left is an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> so the first part of the walk isn't very pleasant, mostly on the road. Um, but hopefully we'll be walking around this uh, lake or body of water, whatever it is. I think we're coming up to the turn off point now. You can hear the cars. Oh, there's a. I think there's a car coming. I shall have to go. That's a little bit better. We've walked through the village of Cornisthorpe um, and we finally turned off the road and onto a lovely footpath. So this is taking us down towards Wellburn. That body of water which I showed you earlier is the Great Lake. There is a footpath around that Great Lake but it says no dogs. So uh, we can't walk around the lake. We may see it. I don't know whether you can see. Just let me uh, focus you in a bit. That there is Castle Howard in the in the distance. So we'll see if we get any closer to it. This looks uh, a nice dryish path with some nice greenery. There's a holiday park in Thors uh, Thorsbury, in uh, Coney's Thorpe. So you never know, we might come here for a holiday. How are you doing? Let's see how long we walk on here for. Uh, a bit of sunshine coming through. Yeah, I was just about to say that. The sun's just coming out. Yeah. Get that. Oops. Charlie, would you work? Oops, a daisy. It's like a big country park, isn't it? How yeah. I think it's called the Howardian Hills. I mean, everything looks better in the sunshine, but it's still a nice day. It's a lovely day. Pay yourself a pound every time we say it's lovely. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's the white gate right up there that we came in. Oh, now yeah. we're walking towards Bog Hall. I have to be careful how I say that. But I did say to Andrew, if he doesn't stop moaning, there'll be Bog Hall left at the cafe. Oh, funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, that's where you should live. What, Bog Hall? Mm. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Enjoying the scenery and uh, Charlie's running rings round Andrew as usual. Keep him off there, I don't want no mud. Come here. Better go and attend to my dog walking duties. Still walking and we've just met another couple with a young puppy who were very muddy, so Andrew's going to get his new trainers ruined. I did tell actually, him to wear some old... Actually, actually. Actually. The, the walking shoes, they're not trainers. But I did tell you to wear something you weren't bothered about getting muddy. I've got nothing else. I can't wear willies, can I? So we're walking towards low, oh, ga low gate lay, apparently. I do what do you expect me to do? Put my slippers on? Yeah. Oh. Buy some walking shoes. I've got no money. You've bloody spent it all. <laughs> We're walking towards Low Gateley. That's so, another thing. What? I want my bloody chocolate slice. Well, you'll have to wait. And if oh. you keep swearing, you'll get bog all. Oh, bog all. Birds twittering in the background. 
course they go quiet when I talk. And we're trying to avoid the mud, it'd be better up here. Not a road to be seen. Still walking and I have zoomed in a little bit. And um, it's not too bad a footpath. Um, and that is the mausoleum. <laughs> Castle Howard mausoleum. <laughs> Would you just get out of the shot? For people who don't want to see you messing about. It's on your head now, it's your hat. Move back a bit. No. Dear. You've got a wet bum now. I don't know how far we've walked. Do you reckon we're halfway? I bloody hope so. Well, we set off about 10 o'clock, didn't we? What time is it now? Well, I don't think it's about half past seven at night. <laughs> What time is it, seriously? Quarter past eleven. Quarter past eleven. So I think we'll have done at least two miles, if not more. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's the mausoleum anyway. Piggies! Hello, little piggies! Hello little piggy, you're oh, interesting aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you got? You found a truffle. I doubt it. Oh, the... What are they Charlie? I think they are pigs, are they? Um... Yeah, they are, look. They, um... No, look. But there's like wild boar and... Get just to make sure I don't... <laughs> it's alright Charlie, Sorry. come here. Can I eat you? Hey, uh, what was it again then? We've now come off the track and onto a road and we're walking towards Swellburn. Still... It does sound like a little bit of wind, but it's uh, still pleasantly warm. Oh, he's enjoying it. Is he enjoying it? Unfortunately, we haven't seen many views of Castle Howard or anything like that, but if we do, I'll show you. It's also one of those walks where you can see how far you still have to walk. Say it. And all that way. All that. It's like end to earth. It's you probably can't see, but can't we see can it. see the. I can see the road. I mean, look, you can see in the distance is how far we've walked. We've even got to bloody pyramids now. Look. You <laughs> well, they can't hold that. Then let me zoom in. Look, we're now in Egypt. I mean, that's how far we walk. There's the pyramid, look. And right in the distance, where's my finger? Right on. in the distance there, in the trees, is where we can see the road leading to. So I think that we are walking up to there. The quicker you walk, the quicker it's done. Oh, get me some roller skates. Alfie's still in, uh, Charlie's still enjoying himself. Be another tired doggy, won't ya?
sorry, I'll keep you still in a minute. Again, I'm zoomed in, but that is Castle Howard. Here we are, approaching the pyramid. Let me zoom you out again so you know. There you go, there's Castle Howard. Like I say, there's, there's no point us paying to go in. Well, it's, it's closed, the house and ground, the house, but also we can't go in with Charlie anyway. But fortunately, we can get to the cafe without paying. Well, so that, that is why we've come. Yeah, yeah, we've come for the cafe. Here we go, a slightly better view of Castle Howard. We're still on the, I don't know what's the word for it, is there a... Road to is, nowhere. Is there, there an, is there an endless road or something? Yeah, we'll drop off cliff end in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to rain just as we, we're sitting down for us dinner. Typical. So, eventually, when we do get to the end of this road, we turn down and we're back, back at the cafe, back at the car. Uh. We reckon this one could do another five miles. If anybody's been inside the house and gardens, do let us know. Let us know what it's like inside, if it's worth a visit. Oh, I think it's quite castle -y. castle -y. Mm -hmm. If anyone's done this walk, we'd be interested to know as well. There we go, last view of Castle Howard. That round, lovely view coming up. Way down there. Shame something's gone in, never mind. Well, we've finally reached the end of the never ending road, and we're now on the tree lined uh, little path on the way back to the famous obelisk. There's the road which runs through Castle Howard. It's worth coming for a little drive through if, if, you, if you're not as mobile and you just drive, then um, it's worth coming out if you're in the area just for a little drive. It's a, uh, nice little place and of course this is where we drove through to get to Thirsk not Thirsk, Helmsley I wouldn't make a tour guide would I? there we go that is the obelisk and the start and the end of our walk sun's come out which is just nice that's what you could be doing would you prefer to be back cycling no I prefer to be having something to eat yeah I'll soon be there I'll soon be there now I don't think just over just under two hours is too too bad for five miles this cost will fit you say yes quite fit fit as um, fit as fit things that's it that's it, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, are you tired? <laughs> so, we're back at the... Uh, the grounds of Castle Howard and I've got my piece of my curry loaf which they very graciously said I could eat outside which was nice of them. Uh, two pieces of curry loaf with a salad and half a sin's worth of Crucial's spicy chutney. I've also got two hi-fi bars as my healthy bee choice. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I've got some fruit as well. And that had, well that had my mango chutney in. I've got a Diet Coke, my water, 
and Andrew has a cream tea. So we've got a cup of tea and a fruit scone with cottage cream and does it tell you what jam it is? Raspberry. Raspberry jam. I'm going to have a coffee in a minute when I've eaten this to eat with my one or two hi-fi bars. This is my this is my treat, a americano with skimmed milk. Uh, sorry, semi-skimmed milk, um, hot hot milk, a hi-fi bar, and a box of mixed fruit. Which so got apple, grapes, and pineapple there. I'm going to drink this while it's hot because I've got a cold nose. It's a bit cooler sat here, isn't it, than walking? It is, isn't it? And we've had a good boy again, haven't we? Yes, I've been good today, haven't Been I? good, yeah. I, think, I don't know if this is the first time you've seen my face today. I don't know. Um, the deadline is just under a month. So it is about quarter past, twenty past one. We've had a little look round the two shops. Uh, Andrew's bought himself a caramel slice, haven't you? Oh, I have. And I think he's bought me a chocolate brownie, so I shall have to decide when I'm going to eat that. That's naughty, isn't it? I did say I was going to have a couple of treats this weekend, or this week, sorry. So we've done our walk. We're already on over 10,000 steps because my uh, watch buzzed. And now we're going to drive home because it'll take us about an hour to get home. And the rest of the day we'll be relaxing. Home safe and sound. And in the time it took me to unpack and do a few other things. Andrew has already eaten his slice. Can you see the space on the empty plate? His caramel slice. But he has got another one. So if he has it later I'll be able to show you. And you can see he's also got a shortbread biscuit there. But I've now sat down as well. Charlie's laying in his bed in the sunshine. I've now sat down as well and I've got a another coffee made with skim milk and a pear and an orange so yeah relaxing time now right it's just coming on to five o'clock we've had a really relaxing afternoon since we got back caught up on my social media did a few little jobs and now it's time for evening meal so i've got half a roast butternut squash filled with a small tin of baked beans and 40 grams of light cheese for my Healthy Extra A and I've topped that with some chilli flakes then I've just got a normal salad, green leaves, tomatoes, peppers and red onion and cucumber and on there I've got some of my Slimming World Sin Free sort of burger sauce type thing which I made over the weekend I think I made it. I did show it in one of my videos but that is because I've left out some of the ingredients that it shows you on the site it is sin free but it's a nice salad dressing and then I've got some more fat free yoghurt flavoured with the brown cinnamon sugar sugar free syrup and the fruit and nut high fibre which is the, the other half of my health extra B. So that is all sin free. Good evening. So it's eight o'clock. We're just settling down and what just started watching a film. 
I've got my coffee and I'll show you my plate in a second. But first of all, this is Andrew's um, caramel slice. What was the other one like? It's all right, yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah, I would say it's the, not the best one I've ever had in the world, but it's it's all right. It was, it's a good seven and a half out of ten, I would say. Yeah. And here is my plate. So I've got some leftover hummus, the last of it, and the last of the carrot sticks that I cut as well. And then I've got a caramel, did you say? Mm. Caramel chocolate brownie. I have had one sin elsewhere in the day, uh, but I am under no illusions that that is only 14 sins. But I'm sure it's a lot more than that, but there we go. I'm going to treat myself to it. So I end the day on one sin plus a caramel chocolate brownie and 13,500 steps. Thanks for watching.